Okay, hi, hi. Uh, welcome to our video tutorial. Uh, in this video lesson, we'll see uh, how to implement or how to use variables in JavaScript and also uh, what are the available data types uh, that we can use in our JavaScript code. So basically, uh, what's a variable is that a variable is uh, a storage in a, in a RAM, in our random access memory that can hold uh, different type of data. It can be an integer value, it can be an, a string value, a date value or anything. Uh, so we create a variable and we store any kind of data we want in that variable. So when we create a variable, we have to tell that variable that uh, what type of data are we going to store in that variable. So that's why, uh, that's what data type is about. So what are, uh, the basic data types available in JavaScript. Let's see them in example. Let's create a new HTML file. Variables and data types. Okay. Dot HTML. Enter. Okay. Right now, uh, we're going to develop a simple uh, application that can add two numbers okay uh, the numbers are going to be hard coded or uh, permanently stored permanently stored in a in a variable okay so let's uh, start writing our function the of course the basic one script languages javascript type is text javascript and now let's have our function add two numbers okay so let's create variables okay so to create a variable uh, we have uh, three type of variable types numbers strings and uh, boolean or true false values these are the the basic variable types in uh, javascript that we have but there is a keyword called var which means variable and we can create any kind of variable we want okay so which means javascript is going to decide what type of data to store in this variable when I store some variable to it. Right now, I created a variable with a data type of var, which means it's not yet defined. Uh, I mean, the data type is not yet set. When it is going to set? When I store a value to that variable. Let's say the first value is 5. So right now, since 5 is a number, now, first value variables type is going to be a number that's how javascript maintains the the process so now when i try to create a variable there are two lines right the first one is declaring the variable i just provided a variable name to the to javascript interpreter there's no variable actual uh, the variable is not actually existed in my in our uh, random access memory but the variable is created when is the variable actually going to exist when i store an actual value to it we call it initialization of a variable or variable initialization when i store the first value in that variable after this i can change the uh, the data in of this variable anytime i want throughout the code but the first time i store a value to that variable that time we call it uh, variable initialization okay let's create another variable second value now i will store a variable here now in the first value variable what we did is we initialized the first variable in the first line and in the second line we initialized it but in JavaScript, we can also do both in one line. Now, what I did is initialize, create uh, or declare the variable, initialized it 
immediately. So any integer number or floating numbers with decimals are all are both considered as numbers. Now I have two variables with numbered with numbers, so I can add them. Let's create a variable called result and add the value in first value and second value variables and the value will be stored in result variable now what i can do is i can show alert and i will show the result so to use this function i need to uh, add a button here in our html body tag so on click call add to numbers function declared above okay so the value of the text on the button is going to be add now let's open our file variables and data types just double click on that file and it will be opened in your preferred uh, browser now when we click on add i'll get the value right one is one value is integer the other value is uh, decimal uh, or a floating value but it adds both variables and gives me the product uh, the sum of those two numbers so in this tutorial what i want you to show is what i want you to understand is that how to define variables what are uh, the available variables we have uh, and also how to initialize those variables uh, and also uh, one more thing uh, i should tell you is that for variable names there are a few standards one and for the first one you can't start a variable name with numbers okay it has to start with a character you can add numbers afterwards and in the middle but it can't start with a number and the other thing in a function or in a single scope a scope means a starting uh, a code block or a code section with a starting uh, and closing parentheses right so in that scope we can't declare two variables with the same name I can't create a variable named var first value here. If I did this, then these two variables will collapse. It will create a, an ambiguous. Uh, it, it creates an ambiguity for uh, the JavaScript interpreter. And also, you have to make sure that since uh, we have seen uh, in the previous video, JavaScript is case sensitive, which means first value with capital v and first value with a small v are different variables it's not recommended to use uh, variables like this because uh, it can easily confuse uh, any developer who will maintain or who will use uh, your code in the future so it's not recommended but uh, i still want to know that uh, that's how javascript works okay okay so this is what uh, I have for variables and uh, our data types mm. thank you very much i hope it's clear uh, if you have any questions please uh, write it in the comment section um, we'll try to respond as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching and make sure to subscribe to our uh, youtube video channel for future videos uh, to get notification on future videos thank you very much